Having a rink in the backyard here has been really, really nice. Uh, share some Canadian values, get to play some hockey, get to go skating, and then learn a little bit more about Jewish values while we do so, right? Every night during the week, we have more than 100 students and uh, we have classes, activities. We have people that we can ask about whatever we need to ask. We study our history, but also we have fun. We get to know new people. We created a place where Jewish students have the opportunity to have delicious, healthy, kosher food each and every day on campus as part of their meal plan. It's convenient. It's on both sides of the campus, so it's really nice to be able to go to either place and have that. I can get all different kinds of food, and it's all freshly made that day. I am now keeping fully kosher. It made everything easy and homey. Like, you're not getting these processed foods, you're getting, like, homemade food. It's amazing. One of the wonderful programs that we're able to implement here is connecting students with the elderly members of the community. We connect the students and they go and visit them. We are now approaching Passover and we are going to be delivering matzah. Well, my name is Pearl. I'm 93 years old. All of the family that I had, unfortunately, have died. I love your coming. How does it make you feel? Very, very happy and very, very wanted. We've got this program called Brunch and Bake, and what we do is we invite Holocaust survivors to come to the Chabad house. It's very unique. I think um, most people don't get to meet or interact with Holocaust survivors, and we get the opportunity to do that. The idea really is to connect the generations. The vibe, the feeling, the passion in the room is indescribable. Breakfast is an event that the Chabad here at Purdue puts on. It's just a time where everyone gets together during dead week, which is like the time before finals where everyone's studying. It's from roughly 10 to midnight and students are able to come to the Chabad, get a little bit of a study break. They are able to decompress with some yummy breakfast food. We have some games for them out. It's really, really honestly helpful mentally, physically, and and at the end of the day, we still are with the Jewish community, which is still special as well. Dans ce Vetravad, c'est un super cadre. Le bateau, euh, c'est très très beau. We decided to start a class every Monday night on the parasha. We start with a big meal. C'est ici que j'ai rencontré mon fiancé. Et c'est ici que je pense j'ai aussi rencontré des amis très précieux. Il y a une super ambiance. C'est ça que j'aime beaucoup ici. This is one giant Shabbat dinner that we're putting on for 2,000 plus people. We're loading and transporting all the food that was home cooked at our Chabad center all to the event center on campus. We usually have a basketball court right underneath me. Tonight we're turning it right on its head to have this huge, huge and amazing program. Good job, Here at Chabad following university commencement. All the families and students came. It's a celebration of all the four years that we've been here. So important for me that I'm celebrating my graduation with all my friends from Chabad because it has been such an integral part of my experience. And I really look forward to staying in touch, you know, sort of being part of this family forever.
campus has enriched my life in so many ways. I definitely have become a much more prouder Jew, uh, very excited about my Judaism. Chabad has been kind of this lighthouse for me. They just accept you wholly for who you are. Honestly, Rabbi is one of my closest friends at this point. This house was a place where I really fostered my Jewish growth and my Jewish community. And it truly is like my home away from home.